Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Google's DreamX. This is pretty insane. This takes AI to a whole nother level. So there's a video at the bottom. Let's go ahead and check it out. We present DreamX, a new framework for editing videos and animating images. Here we animate a collection of teddy bear images with a textual prompt. Crazy. It's creepy, man. Text-driven video diffusion models have recently achieved unprecedented generation realism. See, for example, the results of the prompt a leaping dog. <laughs> so However, text-to-video models are just based on the text, thus enabled to edit a real video. In contrast, we are able to perform the desired edit while preserving the identity of the dog. That's Notably, so weird. we can change the video motion, not only its texture. We also show how our general purpose video editor can be used for prompt based image animation, creating a video from a still image. Our method, DreamX, adapts text to video models for video editing. To do so, we corrupt the video with severe downscaling and noise addition, and then process it with the video diffusion model, guided by the textual prompt. This process enables the model to reimagine details that align with the text prompt while preserving the attributes of the original video. The most naive solution is to fine-tune the model on the input video. However, this limits the motion change. Instead, we suggest a mixed objective that also includes fine-tuning on the unordered set of frames of the video. Regular video fine-tuning uses unmasked temporal attention. However, to train on the unordered set of frames, we use mass temporal attention that freezes the temporal attention and convolution. This has the benefit of preserving the appearance of the video while allowing us to edit its motion. As an extreme example, it allows adding motion to a static video. Using our general video editor, we further propose a new framework for image animation. By simply duplicating the input frame and transforming it using perspective transformations, we can synthesize a coarse video with some camera motion. Passing it through our DreamX video editor, we can now edit both appearance and motion using a text prompt. When fine-tuning the model on a collection of images containing the same subject, we can perform subject-driven video generation using a text prompt. To recap, we propose DreamX, a method for general video editing using text-to-video diffusion models. Our method works by corrupting the initial video, then corrupting aligning it with a text prompt using video diffusion models. We present a novel technique for improving fidelity using mixed fine tuning. Finally, we show that it can be used as a general editing framework for images by first converting the input image into a unified video format and then editing it using our DreamX editor. Let's see some results. Here we add a party hat to the puppy. Notice how the identity is well preserved. In this example, we replace the papaya with a cake while keeping the rest oh. of the scene intact. I wish we could do that in real life. In this example, we preserved the camera motion while replacing the scene. That's Notice crazy. how the water interacts with the wheels in a realistic manner. We now show some image to video results. Here, given the static image, DreamX is able to fill the glass with coffee while creating a camera motion. In this example, a time lapse of a growing plant is being generated. That's insane. In the following example, we zoom out of the scene while adding a buffalo bathing in a river. Finally, we show some subject-driven video generation examples, where a video is generated from a set of still images and a text prompt. The face is kind of jacked up still, but this is still pretty early on right here. Notice how the identity of the subject is well preserved throughout the generated video, and how complex actions, not seen in the small collection of images, is carried out. In this example, DreamX is able to modify the scenery in a compelling manner that is aligned with the prompt while preserving the identity of the toy, all by fine-tuning on a small collection of 10 to 20 images of the subject. 
For more details, please see our paper in Supplementary, where we present more results and evaluations. Thanks for listening. This is some pretty crazy stuff. Obviously, it's still low res, but it's still pretty early technology as well. I can only imagine the use cases for this. I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is like video stock footage. You don't have to necessarily go out there and shoot something. Eventually, one day, we're going to be able to sit here and just use, you know, softwares like DreamX and create our own stock footage to be used in virtual production settings, photography, videography, doesn't matter. It's pretty insane. It's crazy how AI is accelerating so fast right now. It's insane. Now, real quick, I'm going to show you this really cool example they had. This is pretty cool. If you're creating a movie or something like that, you don't have a budget or the software to create a fire scene like this, you can just use the input video and then use Dreamix to add those VFX in. Again, pretty insane because it looks like it's actually camera tracked. Not only looking at the stock footage usage, but you're also looking at potential VFX in the future again for low budget filmmakers. Now, what, what I'm hoping for to happen is eventually Google would release this publicly or again, somebody else would see it and then they would create something similar for us to kind of play around with. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think about this technology right here. It's pretty mind blowing to be honest.